Okay, we're gonna make a wood palette. So shift A, cube, scale tool, scale that down, scale that in a bit. So make a nice rectangular plank like that. I'm gonna hold shift and press D, right click. I'm gonna move this maybe to this uh, this line here. I press shift D again to duplicate that, right click. And drag that over to this line here. Left click just like this, shift and D to duplicate, right click. And I'm gonna scale this one down. And we're gonna put this in between these two. So shift and D to duplicate that, move that over. So I'm gonna select all these. I'm gonna to go to the scale tool. And just scale that a bit longer. I'm gonna hold shift and select these two. And I'm just gonna scale that up. Individual origins. Just make it a little bit thicker. And then go back to medium point. So select one of these thick ones, shift and D, rotate tool, hold control, rotate that 90 degrees, move that to an end. So you want it, same kind of area. Okay, so move that down, like that. I'm going to press tab to get into edit mode, face select, left click this edge here, go over to the arrows, and I'm just going to move that in like that. Left click for that, and then just drag that in, like that, object mode, shift and D, move that to the other side, and then shift and D, and put that in the middle, okay, now I'm looking at it, I think I made this a little bit too small, too thin even, so with a box select on, left click and drag, select all that, go to the scale tool, and just pull that up a bit. Okay, so then shift D, duplicate that. Left click and bring it down a little bit. So you want to scale that down into a square shape. So scale that up, make it into a cube. Uh, so shift and D. So we're going to put one on the side. Shift D, another one on this side. Uh, so I'm going to left click, shift left click, shift left click. Make that a bit smaller. Yeah, I think that looks better. So we're left click, shift left click, shift left click, shift and D. Drag over that side, shift and D. Drag this over to this side. So then select this top, middle, and edge one. Shift and D. Bring that down. Okay, so it looks like they're a little bit big. So I'm going to uh, left click, shift left click, shift left click, tap into edit mode. With face select down and arrows. I'm just going to push these in. Like that, tab into object mode. Okay, so with uh, box select done, hold left click and drag it over the object. Then I'm going to shift, left click this cube here, right click join. So it's all joined to this one point here. So it's all one object now. Now, So tab to get into edit mode. Go to edge select, left click, shift, left click, left click, left click. And just select these outside edges. Like that. So then control B. And just add a bevel onto the edges like that. Two materials up here, new material. Base color, bring that down to a yellow red. Bring that down, let's turn into a brown. So if you go to material mode, you'll see it. It's a, uh, this brown. Turn the specular down, so it's less shiny. Okay, so there you go. A quick wood palette. I hope you found this video helpful, like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.